Hello, this is Dr. St. John. Today we're looking at a Spreadsheet Modeling and Decision Analysis, uh, the seventh edition by Cliff Ragsdale. And we're starting with Chapter 1, the Introduction to Modeling and Problem Solving. So this is the introduction chapter. You know, we're always making decisions in life and in business, and we can use a computer, uh, hopefully, to evaluate our, our, our different outcomes and make choose a better decision. So the computer can be used to help us out, not on all decisions, but on structured ones for sure and semi-structured ones too. And so that's what we're looking at. We're looking at modeling using the computer to help us make better decisions. Spreadsheets are the preferred choice for doing this. Now I deleted a few slides here uh, that that you know you can read about those. I, I just wanted to focus on what what I really want to address, what I think is important, what I need to add to. For this one right here, what is business analytics? This is a term we need to know. It's a buzzword, business analytics. It's a new term. It's popular. Here's a definition from the book. It's a field of study that uses computers, statistics, and mathematics to solve business problems. So that's fine. I'm a little surprised that Big data isn't a, a part of this definition. You'll see it de defined differently in different places. But a big data is one of those, another buzzword, and it just means these huge data sets. And it's kind of a buzzword that's going a little out of, out of style. Business analytics is also known as operations research, management science, and decision science. So why a new term? Well, some things have changed. First of all, the computer. Using the computer, it's become more and more important. The computer, we mean not just the computer, but databases and data warehouses and, and lots of different IT, lots of different technologies. That's different. And the main thing that's different is that these companies, these organizations, they have been collecting massive amounts of data. The cost to collect the data has gone to pretty much nothing, and the cost to store it in these massive databases has gone to nothing. That, in combination with the realization that, hey, we can analyze this data and look at it and find out things and, and use it to make better decisions, that has led to this big upsurge and this new definition, this new term called business analytics. So it, even though it is a buzzword and it's the same as these other things, there are differences today. What is a computer model? That's what we're going to be building all through this as we work through this textbook. A computer model, this is a definition, is a set of mathematical relationships and logical assumptions implemented in a computer as an abstract representation of a real world object or phenomenon. So we will be modeling these relationships and, and logical assumptions and we're modeling some kind of real life a happening, you know, a, a problem. Usually we're focused on a problem and by problem Opportunities are also considered problems, so they're, the, they're, they're all problems. We, that's how we view them. Uh, spreadsheets provide the most convenient way to build these computer models. The modeling approach to decision making. Everyone uses models to make decisions. Here's some different types of models that we use all the time without even thinking a lot of times. You know, mental models. Uh, think about arranging furniture. That's a good example. You know, we go, we go in there and we think, we imagine, how would it look over here? How would it look over there? Those are mental mod models. And we do them for the same reason. For all these models tend to be more efficient. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, we save time and effort um, versus moving the furniture around and then looking at it. First, we do it in our head. And we do these automatically. Visual models, things like blueprints and roadmaps, uh, physical scale models, so aerodynamics, buildings is an example. I would add in there prototypes. Prototypes are, are, tend to be scale models, physical models. Uh, there are non-physical prototypes, but uh, that's getting a little too complicated. Mathematical models, that's what we'll be looking at. We're looking at mathematical models that we are then translating into computer models, but they're mathematical models. Characteristics of models. They're usually simplified versions of the things they represent. Uh, we usually aren't able to, to model everything, but hopefully we get the relevant characteristics. And if we do, that would 
be considered a valid model. We don't always do that, and sometimes it takes uh, some tries to get a valid model, but the goal is to have a valid model. Benefits of model, just like with the furniture, economy, less costly to do it, cost in time, money, effort, physical effort, timeliness. So a lot of times these decisions, they're, they're, they need, they're on a time, uh, they're worthless if, they, if we can't make them quick, and, and these models help us make decisions, better decisions quicker. And finally, feasibility here. Uh, models can be used to do things that would be impossible uh, before the computer uh, came along and before it became more powerful, most of these models were just uh, physically impossible. They, they couldn't be done. As we go through some of these examples, you'll note that the author warns us that, hey, uh, do this, do that, or, or the computational effort by the modern PC will be too much and it'll lock up your computer. So uh, intensive computations in the background. So keep that in mind as we're as we're working these problems, these aren't simple problems. These are uh, these weren't feasible before the computer, and they weren't even feasible on on earlier computers. So they used to they can do things that that used to be impossible. The models can give us insight and understanding that improves our decision making. We don't always take the solution. We we might take the solution and say, yeah, I. But I think something else, and we might we might modify it or do something different. But even if we do uh, implement a different solution, the model and and the solution that the model provides should give us insight and understanding that it improves the the final decision we make.